This is a new Honda CRV. This is the facelifted 2023 model. In this video, we're gonna talk about this design, specifically in the front end. I think it's a fantastic facelift, which I talked about in my on my second channel about this car. But in this video, I'm gonna change a couple of things in the front end. Maybe make it better, maybe make it worse. <laughs> Who knows? That's totally up to you. But there are a couple of details I'm gonna show you that I want to change in the front end. It's grown both in length and in width, so it's overall a bigger vehicle than an outgoing one however the train uh, the drive trains are pretty much the same as before with a 1.5 liter inline 4 and a hybrid 2 liter connected to a CVT gearbox pretty much the same as before a little tweak in the power and torque horsepower is down to 204 horsepower from 212 but torque is up in the interior you have either a 7 or a 9 inch screen so let's have a look at this 30,000, 28 to 30,000 dollar CRV. As I said, I think the design looks really good. I think it's one of the best uh, facelifts this year, and Honda is on a roll right now. Looking at the front end, actually, let's start with the rear first because this is pretty interesting. Now that I read the comments on my uh, on my second channel video, I can definitely see how much Volvo it is in this car. This looks uh, pretty similar to a XC60 specifically with these almost trademarked Volvo taillights right here but it doesn't extend so the LED is, looks a little different here from the XC, XC60. You have three uh, hooks instead of one hook going all the way down like we have in the Volvo but this section is also very similar to the Volvo but I mean Volvo does they do make great looking cars so I don't see why that would be a a bad thing for the CRV maybe they lose a little bit of the identity but to me that's okay it looks a lot better than the previous uh, pre facelift you can go and check out that analysis on my second channel now let's have a look at the front end this is what we're gonna be working on today so we have a much more confident front end and I love this shoulder line that goes from the you know the corner right here we have the corner of the taillight and the corner of the headlight and this is exactly what I want to see in cars we have the shoulder line stretching in between these from point to point a unbroken line creating a uh, nice shoulder and it kind of connects the front to the rear in a beautiful way. We also have a line down here as you can see in the side view that also is flat horizontal to, to the ground and I think that looks good. It, it makes it look kind of bigger than what it is specifically compared to the old one. If you have too much styling going on in a design it shrinks the car but when you have more geometric features and lines that goes further than in an overstyled car it kind of grows the car visually and that's I think that's what happened here we have a big massive chamfer here that uh, houses uh, not houses but that uh, is acts as a foundation for the headlight and I really like this treatment as well and also this uh, LED that's also uh, pretty similar to other new Honda models the Civic and the new Accord is gonna have something similar the Accord is gonna have some uh, amber lights in this section right here now the things that I want to change in in this design they're not really a lot of things we have this part down here that I think could have been cleaned up just a tiny bit more so what I'm what I'm gonna do I don't feel like these elements down here suit the front fascia. They feel like they are in a dip from a different uh, car maybe and they don't have any connection, any friend that looks similar to this either in shape or in graphics. You see we have these slots in the on the inside of this and we don't have those slots anywhere else on the car and we don't have these angles anywhere in the front end either. Yes, maybe here, but that's about it. They kind of point inwards to the grill and they look pretty cool. They add, as I said, some identity to the front end that makes it, um, you know, the, you can have a couple more features graphic features in the front end just to make uh, create an identity and not have it be a faceless car but I think we can remove this so that's what I'm gonna do now yes the EX model kind of has this done to the front end already but it doesn't have the other cool design features in the front end that the sport touring has and I'm gonna have the same 
uh, texture as we have right here. I think that's going to look pretty good if we just copy this texture and apply it onto this. Just remove this piece altogether so we have a nice clean lower grill. Everything here is open. I really like that. There's no fakeness in the grill going on here because everything is open and functional. Even in the bottom part you can see the radiator back here. You can see the big radiator here in the, in the front end as well. So it's a cool design and even these parts, even these uh, intakes in the side are now functional to bring in some air and I guess shoot it out back here somewhere. So it is a functional design, not over stylized at all. And I'm really happy to see that from Honda and they're gonna release a, a, a Honda Accord soon. I made a redesign on that and I saw the patent images yesterday and it looks very, very close to the, to the redesign of the 2023 or maybe it's a 2024 model that I did. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna look like and I'm sure it's gonna be a handsome looking sedan as well. Really glad that Honda is not uh, Butch, uh, butchering the uh, the uh, killing off the Accord and they still keep a proper solid sedan in their lineup. So that's one change I'm gonna change and the other change is this line that we have here going into nothing. So it just goes in and crashes in to have a little accident right here in the, in the grill. It doesn't have a connection to anything. So what I wanna do is lower this line to be in line with this. So this corner that we have up here, have that corner be here somewhere. So we have a clear distinction between the top part of the front fascia, which is gonna be this part. And now I'm sketching all over this, so we can't barely see what it is anymore, <laughs> but that's okay. And then we have a clear lower part as well with this corner now being connected to the top part of the lower grill or intake. So with that said, let's continue here in Photoshop and let's see how this is going to turn out. Imagine being able to sketch anything you want with pen and paper and get the proportions and perspective right every single time. That's what I teach my students inside my online course, Analog Designer Pro Pack. You learn everything from what basic tools to use in your sketching, how to get the perspective right using my unique cloud sketching technique, and how to nail the proportions of your car and product sketches by implementing something I call the box sliding technique. These classes have helped thousands of students all over the world quickly improve their sketching and once you go through the course and actually take it step by step you'll be able to see your own sketching skills shoot up to a new level so click the link in the description or go to analogdesignerpropack.com to see everything you get access to inside and check out the results my students are getting by implementing these techniques and as a bonus I'll even walk you through my two portfolios that got me into a master's degree in automotive design in Italy and also landed my first job as a designer. It's priceless if you're looking to become a professional designer. So click the link below or go to analogdesignerpropack.com today to learn more. I'll see you on the inside. So as I said, Honda has been on a roll when it comes to design. I think they reached, I've said this also, that the Honda Civic Type R, the previous generation, and on July, I think the 20th, the new Civic Type R is going to be released. I'm gonna be on vacation that day, so I'm not gonna be able to cover it, unfortunately, the day it's released, but I'm gonna make a video on that as soon as I get back from, from my trip. But I think the, the next generation Honda Civic Type R is gonna be a fantastic looking car because they have uh, mixed the, the new styling of the Civic, which is very uh, toned, dialed down, with some performance parts, and I think, I hope, the way I see Honda right now, I think all the performance parts and new intakes in the Type R are actually gonna be functional based on what we see in these new designs coming out from Honda and the facelifts and the new generations of their cars. So I'm excited for the Honda Type uh, Civic Type R on July the 20th. And I think Honda is doing the right thing here. They reached a peak when it comes to overstyling, just massive lines and fake air intakes and wings and stuff on the Civic Type R. But now they're dialing it back significantly significantly and starting to focus on what we've been talking about before and I think this might be uh, sort of an introduction to how they're going to be designing their EVs because like it or not that is where we're heading we're heading towards more EV designs and that means that we we can still stylize the cars but the, the, be the better 
solution to design EVs is to uh, hold it back a little bit and focus on range and slipperiness through through the aer aerodynamics obviously and I think this is uh, almost like a preview of what Honda is trying to nail now with their identity so focus less on over styling and focus more on key graphic features of the car and as I said I think they're doing a great job doing that I love the new Honda Civic it looks fantastic in my opinion one of the best look probably the best looking small sedan hope uh, I'm not forgetting any small sedan but the, the ones that pop up in my head right now small sedans the Audi a3 looked used to look good but now I think Audi a3 looks a, maybe they're starting to get a little bit more over stylized but the, a couple of generations back that was one of the best looking small sedans but today I think honestly the Honda Civic sedan is is really up there when it comes to design so that's my tiny change for the Honda Honda CRV right here just to basically separate the front uh, the, the top graphic in the front end to the lower part and create even more connection in the lines like they've done a great job specifically in the rear end kind of have something similar in the front end as well and more so with the side intake and that curvature now going in to the lower part of the air intake in the front end and I couldn't help myself so <laughs> yeah I added more rugged off-road wheels onto this because why not just for fun that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care